What's up, everybody? If you want to see what's on my lanyard, stay tuned. This segment is brought to you by the all-new Realtree Timber. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And as you know, we've been doing a what's on my lanyard deal. So the week three just happens to be mine. This is, this is uh, what I have on my lanyard. This is the braided lanyard you can get here at Duck Commander. And uh, I like it because it's long. And I can stuff it down in my waders and just have certain things out of whatever area I'm in, whatever ducks are there. Uh, I have two mallard calls on it. I have the Camo Max call, which is a quieter call for when I'm in the woods or it's a still day or something like that. And some days, I mean, you can just try different calls, different sounds. It's, I don't know what it is. Sometimes they respond better to different sounds and for whatever reason, they're wild animals. You just gotta try to trick them. And it's a little bit, gets on that high end a little bit and uh, milks wheel down. Look, this one don't take no air to blow. It's real easy to blow. it down to nothing. And I have the old DC 800 to cut down Reacher. This is one of the older calls that we brought back. And um, it was one of my favorites when it come out. And it's still one of my favorites. This is what it sounds like. It's kind of loud. You see the exhaust port is big. So to give you that volume for windy days, open water, situations like that. <laughs> Boy, that's her. But loud, open rice fields, open water, windy days, you might want to use this. Uh, I also have some specialty calls, the wood duck call I have on my lanyard because we have a lot of wood ducks around here. I mean, they raise here. And we have flight woodies that come in. And uh, people say you can't call woodies, but the reason they can't, because every time I hear somebody blow a wood duck call, they're doing this. That's a flying call. If he's flying and you flying, which y'all doing racing, you gotta do the stuff that they doing on the water. You do that and slosh that water, and I promise you, they're gonna come over close enough to shoot. Another call I got on there is the teal call, which is green wing teal. These right here, in my opinion, are the two best tasting ducks it is the green wing teal and the woody. But here's the teal. This is her, this is the female duck. That's her. This is him right here. That's all he does. This is the male. This is the female. But that's the two best tasting ducks it is right there. I have a gadwall call also on here because we have a lot of gray ducks down here in this part of the country. We have a lot of them cypress breaks, you know, with the duck weed on top. And it's real good, them gadwalls get in there and feed on that. But this is the gadwall call. You just say tad into it. And you can manipulate your hand, open and close it, and sound like one or two or three of them on the water. Combine that with your mallard calls, and it'll really, really make your decoys. That, that's one reason why I have so many different calls. I have every duck that I have a decoy for sitting out in front of me, because I want everybody talking. Why not have everybody talking? You know, the first time I met Phil was at a duck calling contest that my dad entered me in. I didn't want to, I, I was, thought I was going to watch a buddy of mine and he entered me. But anyway, Phil was there doing a duck call 
demonstration and, and judging the contest. Well, he got up there doing all these different sounds, and I was thinking, if a man's just not making mallard calls, but he's making all the duck sounds, he must be after them pretty good. <laughs> he might be somebody you want to pay attention to. You know, he, he has gabwall decoys in his spread. Why not have one talk? We got teal decoys in our spread. Why not have them talk? We got mallard drakes. We got all kind of things. We got Weegians. Pintails. Stick your finger over the hole and trill your tongue. Phil says, vibrate your uvula. But I trill my tongue, because I used to play trumpet, so I'm better at that. But when we hunt, when we're hunting, there's five or six guys in the blind. And you don't want everybody blowing mallard calls, because it's just, it's just a big commotion is all it is. There are certain days when they're flying high, and everybody's got to get on them to get their attention. But if they're working right, you don't want but one or two guys blowing mallard calls. And you want the other guys doing the other decoys that's in your spread, doing them sounds. The wood ducks, if you see wood ducks, the weegians, the mallard drakes, the gadwalls, because if everybody's talking, it just gives them ducks more confidence that everything's all right, everybody's happy, yeah, let's go down in there and join them. And then you hear them like them two words you've been waiting on. Cut them. Thanks for watching. Leave us some comments and tell us what's on your lanyard. And we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.